ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इंटरफेस एन एस टी सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी सेवन थर्टी फाइव और टी एफ टी विद दी ऑर्डिनो यूनो दिमुलेशन प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर यूजिंग इज दी प्रोटिया सेट प्रोफेशनल सो नाउ फर्स्ट यू नीड टू टेक अवर ऑर्डिनो यूनो सो वी विल राइट ऑर्डिनो यूनो एंड वी विल get our arduino okay now you can because it is not the integral part of the protea so you should have to download its library so, uh, for it uh, you can google it out or you can go to google you can install you can download its library and then you need to copy that library into the uh, library folder of the proteus so in this way you can use this arduino uno okay after this arduino uno we need to take our tft that is st 7735r okay now this is our tft display okay uh, tft is an abbreviation for thin film yeah so this is our tft display now you can see that there are certain connections but we uh, just need for data communication we just need around four pins okay so we will join them out like uh, we will use these tags and you know that these tags are used for remote connection just like we will write here cs for this take and if we write cs for this take like which is connected to pin number 8 so they both are considered as connected like this okay now so this is our first connection after it we have scl okay so again we need to take our take and we will write sck both sck and scl it's okay then there is one which is called as a dc so we will write here dc and with d0 we will use it as sta okay now this is and all of the rest of the pins must be uh, connected with each other and then to the power yeah like a power takes so we need to connect them like that okay you you need to connect each and every pin like that it is essential usually in physical form this lcd uh, is like uh, able to be mounted on the arduino uno board okay okay now after it we need to take our power tag again we can connect it like that okay now after it is done we need to go and we will join these three pins like i am 1 i am 0 and sp14w and then there is one lcm pin which is also needed to be joined with them then we will give them the power terminal like this now the rest of the pins like uh, uh, this im2 and other pins so okay now we need to connect them with gm1 gm0 and this to smy okay and also this gs and t cell these also needed to be connected with the rest of the other pins and then they must be connected with the ground so this is the uh, what's called as the pin connections okay now uh, after this is done we need to write here a more like a 
right click on it then this okay like this okay so the first pin must be connected with the pin number 13 and we will write here as sta this is pin number 13 is sta then we need to connect the next with pin number 11 so okay wait yeah so it is it is our sck yeah and uh, yeah we, we we are a bit wrong here because this tag must be with pin number 10 that is the it it is the cs okay and the next one must be with the pin number nine so how we can move it like that okay so it is it is dc okay now we are okay with our connections now we need to go to our arduino core so this is a very simple arduino core okay mm, it just consists of about like uh, 28 lines uh, nothing like uh, some bit uh, yes, an easy code so we first you can see that there are three libraries so how you can uh, download these libraries uh, you can go to uh, even you can go to sketch and include library and then you can go to manage libraries here uh, with this method you can install the libraries like uh, uh, right here like uh, this adafruit underscore gfx like adafruit underscore gfx dot h like this and yeah and you can see that we we i already have installed but you can click on install and then use it and one easy easy thing and uh, like uh, some bit more accurate is that you need to install these libraries from google and then you need to paste them inside the arduino library folder and where it is uh, obviously where there is uh, like your Arduino is installed you need to copy these uh, two library folders and then need it to be pasted inside the inside the library folder of the Arduino then okay now then we have declared our CS pin at uh, pin number 10 of Arduino and DC pin with pin number 9 of Arduino and then this is an internal function that is which is called and there are two parameters that is the pin numbers so they are inserted inside this function that is add a food then there is white setup white yeah so it is uh, yes so it is initialization function that is tft dot init r and tft dot fill screen with black we can write any other color if you want then delay of 500 then then there is wide loop and it is saying tfd dot set cursor uh, it's a zero a zero column and row number 30 we can change it as well if if we want okay like 10 or like this then tfd dot set text color it, it says that like uh, we, we have written yellow color here you can write any like red or anything like that so tft dot set text size here you can write like three one or anything like that okay so it is nelson we can uh if if you want to print in any of the text here you can change it with the name as nelson like you if you want your name like any any other name if you want to write you can replace it with the nelson then again tft dot set cursor at 20 comma 60 so it is uh, column and it is row so so tft dot set text color so if you want the yellow here we have mentioned yellow so darwin will be with the yellow color okay so and its size is two okay no no we need to run it okay now we need to copy 
it's a ino.hex file so here it is and we need to copy it and we need to paste it out inside the Arduino you know so this is a very simple code okay now you will see that maybe there uh, is some sort of inversion okay wait okay but there is one more problem that it is sck and this one is sta so now it is working fine okay now you can see but it is inverted okay so if if you want to see it properly then you right right click on it and uh, rotate it clockwise and one more time rotate clockwise so it will be working fine for us so you can see that here it is yeah it you can see that it is uh, darwin is at 20th column here it is written 20th column and 60th row so it is uh, 60th means simply means that it is from top to down here and nelson is at 30th row and 0th column so hopefully you got this simple concept that how you can use this simple tft with the arduino you know so thanks for visiting our channel